do that laugh. For, for, both, you, for mostly you guys, I want to change and also for the last time of the night, it's not left down. Because if you've come this far, just stick around because he is super funny. He's super positive. He's an inspiration to not just comedians, but athletes and celebrities and just general civilians, people at large. He's been in. You, am I paying the questions right now? Is it, did, did this yeah, become yeah. a town hall meeting? It's a TED talk. <laughs> it's a TEDx talk, don't flatter me. <laughs> Question? Well, are you going to stay like, with us? Am I going to stay with you? Yeah. I got to go to Disneyland tomorrow, not my choice. So I got I to gotta wake up at 5.30 to go have fun. Enjoy it. No, I'm really going to enjoy it. <laughs> Gonna enjoy standing in line with a bunch of snotty nosed kids who want to puke on me. <laughs> so you have the goddamn tea cups. Anyway, this next guy is very uplifting on the other hand. Uh, he's one of the pioneers of podcasting. He has had his own brilliant show on Comedy Central. He's been in major motion pictures. He's an inspiration to me, super funny. Give it up for Steven. Brody, Steven! Going for Sandy Danto. He's from Detroit. Did he, does he mention? Did he mention he's from Detroit? No. Well, now you know. Now you know he's from Detroit. Now you can appreciate what he did even more. Give him a nice hand. Detroit's a tough town. His father used to work at Chrysler. His father. Worked at Chrysler and had to go back online, get a degree, and become a podiatrist. <laughs> Sandy, is your father a podiatrist? Yes. Thank you. Okay. See, you. See, when you take interest in other people, others will take interest in you. I was in the hangover. Hangover 2, due date. And great news, guys, I just booked another movie. <laughs> Uh, it's an adult video out in Chatsworth. Uh, no, I did book a movie. Sandy, Monday, I'm playing an Uber driver and uh, Whitney Cummings. I'm doing a movie with Whitney Cummings. Yeah. And, uh, and Chris Delia. Chris? Was Chris Delia? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How come nobody laughed when I said Delia? Yeah. It's supposed to be a joke. You got to laugh at almost everything I say based off Cadence Hello. Yes. I'm FaceTiming with my mother right now. She's at the casino in Palm Desert. All right, let me hand this off to uh, so I can look at you. Arms crossed negative. This guy's ready to go after me. I'm reading the, reading the Simi Valley energy. I get it. It's for Eric. By the way, Jay's going through a lot of stuff. Where are, you, are you from Dallas, right? Yeah. There you go. It's fucking crazy over there. I was there last night. Hiding in a water burger. <laughs> we can laugh. Get off me! Get off me! It's a funny thing I just said. Lighten up. You're not at the drama store. <laughs> this is my life. Let me sit down for a second. You that's what I can look at you. I smoked a lot of pot outside just a minute ago. So we might where are the blonde girls going? Back there? Arizona? Oh, alright. Follow me. <laughs> you guys, 
I'm a Brazos account. I'm being rude. Are you guys from Arizona, Utah, and Vegas? He's from Arizona's Bomber Store. Interesting. Yeah. 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 Y
Are you? Are you? Are, there's some different pot back there. Do they give you like wax? Yeah, I was smoking the wax. All right, be professional though. It's a professional periscope. We got kids ready to jump on that thing. If you're gonna be half asleep. I'm looking at the comments. Oh God. Listen. They're Real very quick. positive. All right, they like it? Yeah. I'm, all I'm saying is, if you want to move around, you can move around. That's all I'm saying. If they like that angle, keep it there. Ask them, but I'd like you to you know, get creative. I might as well just put it up on a tripod. I'm looking at you. Just get creative. This is your opportunity, Eric. Move it or put the scope stick down. Let's put the scope stick down. That's from five hour energy earlier today, I'm sorry. I take, a, uh, I take a selfie defense class. That's right, if I see somebody with a selfie stick, I spray him with mace. Oh, nothing. Eric. Yeah, Brody. No, you're, no, 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 no. Eric, what are you doing? It's just getting weird. Eric, please go with Sandy over there, please. That would get really weird. That would be not professional at all. Eric? Go sit in the booth and just chill. <laughs> but keep the camera on me. Uh, right there. Oh, man, I was right, right? And then kind of came up here. His hair looks good, though. His hair looks good. I went to Supercuts where walkouts are welcomed. <laughs> I'm so hairy, my armpits have dingleberries. Does that make joke? Does that make sense? Hey, what are you guys hugging about? That's good that to see uh, so funny. two friends hugging. Do you guys like the uh, the roast battle shows? Do you guys like Jeff Ross, the roast master? You've seen his roast. Hold on, I gotta set it up. Brian, give me a break. What a good guy. So the roast master shows, right? So Jeff does the roasting. He's the roast master. They roasted uh, Charlie Sheen, Roseanne Barr, Donald Trump. Then they came up with a roast battle show and they shot a thing and Comedy Central liked it and they just did six episodes all across the country, six episodes, and this guy right there, stop rubbing his chest, it's kind of erotic, and not for me. It's all for from you. San Diego, he came up here hustling, worked here, still may work here, I don't know, but I'll tell you what, he's the host of an upcoming Comedy Central show. Give it up, Brian Moses, the host of Comedy Central's Roast Battle. Was I, was I correct with that? Six uh, episodes across America or four? It was four cities, one episode. Four cities, one episode. Right. Close All right. Enough. Close enough. <laughs> do, 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 two girls, one cup. Four cities, one episode. It's all the same thing. Four cities, one episode. It's like six and one half dozen of the, of the other. Yeah. You've heard of that one? Six and one half dozen. You've heard it. You get it. You two are together, he's the exchange student. Got it. I've seen that happen before. I'm here a lot. Are you by yourself? I like that. Give him a nice hand for uh Are you girls from Colorado too? Arizona? They're Vegas. Nice. You knew there was a Vegas energy. Alright, you guys are good. Simi Valley. Are you really from Simi Valley? No, Aurora. I said Simi Valley earlier, didn't I? I said you're from Simi Valley. I picked up on the, the Conejo Valley. Oh my God, energies, chills. You both grew up where? T.O.? Yeah. Heard of it. I've heard, heard of it. So up the 23 freeway, the 101. There, there's a, a Thousand Oaks Art Center there. Yeah. I have Google satellite. I do the topography. I loved it. I, lo I studied the Caneo Valley. Because you can see the valley, you can see the ocean actually, right at the Ronald Reagan deal. If you go to the Ronald Reagan Library, you can see the ocean. Ronald Reagan, when he passed away, it was like over 10 years, 12 years ago. We were here at the Comedy Store. I've been here for a long time. We are at, Ronald Reagan passed away. And I think a bunch of us, well, we did, I think. We went out to Simi Valley to see Ronald Reagan. Then we passed away to go see the body. And they had it. It was like a, we wait on the 118 freeway. It was like a 13 hour wait to go to the Ronald Reagan library to see Reagan. Uh, I also had to return a book, but the deal is uh, <laughs> I had to be there for that. I had to tag that too. You guys would laugh at that. Because I almost like faded on that book. <laughs> 
Arms crossed, hand up, but you're laughing. I'll accept it. You're visiting from that area. Let me guess. Redondo Beach or Burbank. Where are you visiting from? Portland. That is way off. Portland. Is the uh, area code there 503? It is, right? I received a phone call today from Portland. <laughs> I mentioned that I booked a movie, right? I did a movie. With, with, they said Whitney Cummings, right? I said that movie? Because I have a joke that I booked the movie. Did I do my the joke? Your joke? No. Did I even do the joke? I think I did. I did that? Okay, I did that. The my, yeah, yeah. I booked another movie. It's an adult video. Laugh, laugh, laugh. I booked another movie. Adult video in chat, so I am professional. Book the movie in chat's worth. It's an adult. So I booked the movie with Whitney Cummings. Stay right there. Now! They had a Nickelback tour jacket at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I mentioned that, right? And it's in the, and it's in the Lost and Found. Chad. Oh, yeah, Chad. I met, I, I saw Chad Kroger at Starbucks on cold water. And then like two hours later, Eric, Yeah. what are you doing? I had to block some people and then I accidentally blocked Liberty City and I can't get her back. You, oh my God, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You just blocked one of the girls who's- One of the nicest ones, yeah. Yeah, the one who helped buy stuff for me on Amazon. I accidentally- Who PayPal's me, <laughs> basically my, my sugar woman. And you just blocked her. I, it was an accident, Brody. I was trying to Dude, block you. You should have asked me, can I block people? They were being dicks. I, I don't care. I didn't give you the thing to block. Did I say go ahead and block people? No. Eric, what are you doing? You just blocked a girl who's paying my rent. What? Essentially. I need it. We want Steven back. Oh. How dare you? No, it's all right. Give Eric a nice hand. But you know what, Eric? <laughs> She's going to be pissed. I I I, uh, I apologize. Too late. Like, this is the major leagues. <laughs> She's gonna be upset tonight. Do you not understand? I did that. I I blocked an uh, un, not unintentionally blocked a girl, and it was and it was a major issue. You just blocked a girl. Oh God! What were you thinking? Tell me what you were thinking. <laughs> Well, they were bullying me into blocking people. They kept saying, block, block, block this person. So for what? I, what were they saying? They were, one of them said, what, what am I in here for? He's not saying anything funny. Oh my God. That son of a bitch. That's why I blocked him, Brody. But you didn't get him. You got, no, I got, there. I got him and then I went to the, his little friend that he was with and I tried to block him and it blocked Liberty. And that guy Oh, you got carried away. You tried to the I got blocked. I got, yeah, I got blocked. Oh my God. Well, she's in tears right now. I'll tell you that, right? I'll tell you that for sure. She's one of the nicest ones too. You're from Florida, aren't you? Yeah, Tampa. Yeah. Greatest yeah, city in the world. Hey, what's going on here? Come on, guys. Focus. So I gotta go, I gotta deal with Liberty, who sent me a case of Red Bull. I get my packages sent here. These girls are into me. You see my shoulders? I have so much knowledge to share. I used to, I used to work at Red Robin. I'm having fun today. Wearing shorts. See this block? <laughs> I got this watch right here. At the, you'll appreciate this. I got this at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This this watch. Yeah, it's a uh, Kenny G shop. I also got uh, Pat Benatar hit me with your best shot glasses. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Then I went, I went, I, got, I went to the cafe and I had some sticks, cheese sticks. <laughs> These are so old jokes, I never do them, but I, you know what, I talked to my friend today. You guys like the family guy? Yeah. My friend created the family guy, essentially. Well, he's not Seth McFarlane, but he's the next guy. He basically runs it. If you, you, you guys know the name Alec Sulkin? You know, he wrote, he wrote the Star Wars one, too. He wrote the Star Wars 
family guy. He's that guy. We started open mics together. <laughs> so what I was saying, what was I saying right before? Oh, he's the one we did that cheese stick sticks. And uh, the uh, Pat Benatar hit me with my drug. These are 20 year old jokes, but I just talked to him today. So he like gives me confidence. He's funny on Twitter, but he had a kid. He's exploding. We start opening mics. The guy's like, and I'm proud of him. I'm so happy. I'd love to be a voice on Family Guy one day. Do you guys like Beavis and Butthead? Yeah. Do you know that I started comedy here in 1993? And I did uh, Polly Shore's sister help me with comedy. I had a, she was a personal tutor for me. We did our final class here at the comedy store, right? 1993. I did my first open mic in Chatsworth where that joke originates when I did a solo scene on the yoga mat. I did my first joke because we did the show here in 93. I did my first show in Chatsworth. We went to Soup Plantation in Encino and then we drove up to Chatsworth. Today, I was at home watching Fox 13 and they had The Simpsons on today. And the guy, and I, so today I talk, listen to this. The guy that I began comedy with here in 1993, he wrote Beavis and Butthead Frog Baseball. You know Frog Baseball, that episode? He wrote that. I started comedy with him. So today I talked to the guy who wrote Frog Baseball. His name today, The Sims. Oh, then! This is unbelievable. Energies are happening. Here. I'm a Gemini. I've got it going on. I believe in it. I'm on a roll. The signs are out there. Sanders? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You know what? I almost have that same hat. I'm going, get, I'm going to get to you in a second. Believe me. I want to finish this one thought. I'm going to get to you. So the, first of all, that watch right there, you have that gray one? See, I have this one, the black and white. I have black, I have white, and I have gray. I have that same exact. Not many people have the gray. Good choice. You've got style. So he's got the gray. All right. Number one. Number two. He wrote Frog Baseball. His name is J. Stewart Burns. My middle name is James. When I started comedy, I went up to Seattle in 1994. I went by J. Brody Stevens. He's J. Stewart Burns. So I kind of did like, not as a joke, but just an homage almost. Anyway, he also wrote for The Simpsons. And The Simpsons was on, they were on today. I don't know, who watched The Simpsons rerun? Anybody today? Krusty the Clown was a stand-up comedian. He wrote that. Bottom line is, there's a lot of stuff happening. Why did, why did Whitney select me to be the Uber driver? Get this. Do you guys like the, the new Dairy Queen commercial? Yeah. You know little Esther? They just sold the pilot. They sold the pilot. She was in my TV. I had a little TV show. She, you put the blizzard in the fudge, the blizzard in the fudge. orders. So Whitney called me. She wants me to she said to me. So I'm playing an Uber driver. All right. That's one of the uh, uh, hurtful moments now. Crap like that. They think I'm a YouTube video. They think I'm a hologram. They think I can just click and X out on me. You don't do that. I started comedy in 93 with a guy who Rogue Frog Baseball went through the Chatsworth attacks. And you're gonna see it, Cubs have Chatsworth. Boom! Do you, do you like the Cubs? Love them. Did you know that I coached first base for the Cubs this year in spring training? No. You didn't know that? No. That's true, I coached first base for the Cubs. Who can, anybody here can verify that? Don? This guy can. Because my friend's a coach. I grew up in the Valley, San Fernando Valley, 818 till I die. Louisiana Little League. 818, you got it. And then Mike Brazello, I grew up with him. He went to Cal Lutheran. He went to Taft High School. And then he uh, he was at Taft High School. Cal Lutheran's in Thousand Oaks. Yeah. Then he uh, 
played a little pro baseball because he uh, with the Cardinals, but never made the major leagues. And then Joe Torre, who we knew as a kid, got a job with the Yankees in 1996. And he said, why don't, he said, why don't you come down to Tampa, throw, throw batting practice to the Yankees. That's so funny. Throw batting practice. Yankees liked them, boom, 12 years with the Yankees. How many they went? World Series. Four World Series. He's got four World Series rings at the house in Tarzana. So, Joe Torre goes to the Dodgers. Where does Purcell go? Dodgers. Don, you've been here, right? Been here for a little bit. How many times, how many Dodger players have we brought in here over the years? I brought none. You brought about 10. Can you name a few for them? Do you know their names? Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe a guy who's won the Cy Young Award, injured now, maybe one of the greatest pitchers in the history of baseball. Yep. Kershaw's exactly right. We bring him here. And you know what? I'll say any friend of Brody's is a friend of mine. You got it. <laughs> Now the thing that's a little weird, then he has to suck my dick. But don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don, you keep it clean. This is a PG that was un, that was an attack. That's a hate. That's a hate. That's hate speech. I was joking. All right. Well, we do have baseball players here. So anyway, for real quick, real quick, real quick, because I'm four years with the Dodgers. Then he went to the Cubs. So he went with the Cubs, I forget how he ended up with Dale Swain. He was friends with him because Dale Swain was with the, it's all connections and relationships, guys. And I'll tell you what, you have good energy. You're a successful crowd. You have disposable income. I never, I don't have, I can't go out. I, you know how much my health insurance is? I don't make enough money for sex. I'm not qualified. I'm getting Botox at urgent centers. It's a new one. I'm getting Botox at urgent clinics. Urgent centers? I don't know. Urgent care. Thank you. Was that you, Jay? Arms crossed negative, but you're a good guy. <laughs> one sec, one sec, one sec, though. So, he's with the Cubs now, right? He was there with Dale Swain, and then the new coach came, and now Joe Madden. So Joe Madden lets me come out, I hang out, I suit up. They said, Brody, you want to suit up? I go, yeah. Then I threw a bullpen with the players. I threw because I pitched in college. I was in Arizona State. I'm wearing a jock strap right now. Woo! You got it. I have a jock itch on my, my back and uh, athlete's foot on my scrotum. So uh, I'm using Lamisil and gold bonds. It's, it's a mixture, it's like a paste. You take Lamisil and gold bonds and it's like a paste. So I put it over there. And you know what? It gets rid of eczema. And I'll put it up here, I'm working on my rosacea. It's, and then you put a little apple cider vinegar on it. It's a great laugh. Right? But we are going energy connections today. So I coached first base. I, yes, I did. So I did the three, I caught three. A lot of people like to throw out the first pitch of the game, right? Celebrities, they throw out the first pitch. I catch the first pitch. I caught three first pitches for the Cubs this year. Here he is, Brody from The Hangover. 15,000 people, Mesa, Arizona. And then <clears throat> the first time, the first game, he goes, you want, he goes, Brody, you want to coach first? And it was in full uniform. I go, yeah, because I coached first for Arizona State a few games. He goes, yeah. So it was against the Dodgers. I coached first base this year with the Cubs. And Kershaw was pitching. I'm coaching first base, Kershaw was pitching. And then AJ Ellis was catching and Ethier was out DHing. I was right there, it happened. And you know what? I'll never have that taken away from me. Just like the hangover. I could be, nothing could be, go my whole life could be done, but I'm on that hangover DVD. You know, and I'll, I'll put it, I'll tape it onto a red box machine. I'll put it out there. I want you to have it. It's hard to get mad though. I went to they saw it at the library. The hangover. I steal them from the library. You don't think I'm gonna rent it for free? You want that? You're gonna get. You're getting the hangover. Hangover two and due date from the library. The studio. No, you're not. Took them. Stole it. Took off the security cameras. And now, and I and I actually scissored them. I cut the thing in half. Trashed it. Recycled the cassette plastic DVD holder. You guys are fun. You're giving me confidence. I have to have confidence on Monday. I have to have confidence 
tomorrow too. <laughs> Doing a show in the original room next door tomorrow, early, a regular spot. That's not Barris's room, isn't it? You're gonna be on there later. I did a pot. You look familiar. I did a podcast with you yesterday. <laughs> These girls, you guys are good. Get the girls a nice hand. They've been good. That whole table's been good. We got off to a rough start, but you know what? We recovered, I recovered, I went right into that Colorado Mile High Club joke, and it was all good. Where are you from? You're from Anx, where? Where did I play baseball in 1989? I played for, I played for the North Pole Knicks. Thank you. Outside Fairbanks. So I pitched in Fairbanks. I hacked weeds off the, the US 2 highway. And we played Anchorage, Anchorage Bucks, or maybe the Anchorage, hey, I think we played the Bucks. Then, after that, we